All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the man, the myth, the legend, Mark Campisi. Welcome back to the channel. Today is really exciting. We just picked him up from his house. He's gonna see his bike for the first time with the full Termi race exhaust, his brand new uh, tires that we put on there, um, his sprint filter, and obviously you can't see the ECU, but um, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. He's gonna start it up for the first time, ride it for the first time, it's gonna be probably 10 pounds less, Dad, and probably 10 more horsepower. It's bigger. It is, it's way, way bigger. Look at that thing. So, yeah, it's complete, look at your new tires. These are the ones that I have on my bike, too. The Diablo Rosso 3s, they're really, really nice tires. So I'm excited, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. What do you think, Pop? Doesn't it look really good? Yeah, it really does. So, this is stainless system, so it's, I don't think it's gonna change crazy colors like the, um, like monster. monster exhaust, but it will probably get darker gold and maybe even some other colors. But this is carbon, so that's really cool. I want you to, I want you to start this thing up. Obviously, you put twenty some thousand miles on this bike, so you know it better than anyone else does. So I want to see what you think of the sound difference. <laughs> I happened to walk across at the wrong time and, and I just got it straight into my face. face. Yeah. Right into that my face. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. So apparently Dotto said when you're riding it, because he's the only one who rode it, he made sure everything was okay. Um, he said on D cells and stuff, it cracks and pops and stuff too. Kind of like the monster does. Yeah. So I'm excited. I say we saddle it up and take him out for a ride before we get rained yeah. on. Yeah. How's that sound? Yeah. Oh, I like this, Jared. All right. So one thing, Dad is um, we weren't able to use the race ECU. I sent that out to get flashed. So you do, you're running the stock ECU right now and the only reason that, that matters is it's not technically the air fuel stuff isn't, isn't primed for a full exhaust like that, especially a race exhaust. So it's fine for you to ride, but just keep it away from Redline and don't ride it stupidly hard, you know, for a couple weeks until we get the other one back. So that's the only thing. So, but after that being said, give it some gas. <laughs> looks phenomenal dad all clean and just blacked out hey get on the other side so I can hear your exhaust it sounds so low like man you know what's crazy dad so your bike has a termi on it my termi just arrived for my bike and then the the SP is getting a slip on termi exhaust too so we're gonna have three bikes with termi exhaust on them how cool is that when does Dado go to work on one of those two? Uh, Wednesday, we're putting the Termi exhaust on the SP. Wow. Yeah, so that's going to be exciting. So, you also have brand new tires on that, Dad. So just be careful on those for the, you know, for 20 miles or so. Wow. Because they, they do take some breaking in. How's it feel? Yeah, I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Give me a rev. <laughs> wow. Okay, I think we're good to go. That I like. Dude, it looks so good with your tire cleaned. You look good on that thing, dude. I was thinking the same thing looking at you on your... On the Monster? Yeah. Yeah, I love this bike. It's a really good bike. That's a good looking bike. Uh-huh. Someone's gonna be very happy with oh, that. Oh, someone's gonna love this bike. Yep, and and whoever gets the SP is obviously gonna be freaking in love with that bike too. Yeah, so don't forget, you guys can enter to win patreon.com slash Customs. That's how we support the projects. That's how we're able to do these things. So uh, yeah, if you wanna help support and be entered to win bikes, check it out. It's always the first link in the description below. We're gonna throw some gas in both of these. Dude, I love how that sounds. So on do I. On diesel? Oh man sounds so good all right so i think my pop said he wants to swing by the harley dealership and let him hear what a, what a real sound a bike sounds like oh, shit. <laughs> i was just telling him so the full termi race exhaust 3500 3700 just for the system 
by the time you do installation, which can be up to eight hours, it's like it can be like five grand for that exhaust, you know. So not many bikes have the full termy race exhaust system. Wow. Just give All me right. give me a blip on some more. <laughs> I love it, dude. It scared the light into turning green. <laughs> Dude, it looks so, the bike just looks, I actually really like that bike. The black on black is just so sick. Yeah, it's got that classic appeal. It does, it really, it fits you so perfectly. When my dad was riding the Monster, we went on a ride uh, last week, I didn't film it or anything, but um, he looked fine on it, but I'm just so used to seeing him on the Diablo. It's just, that's literally the bike for him. It's so perfect for him. I love it. Even yeah. though, that was a long ride we had uh, when I was on that. That's when we went to Cabela's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a that great That was like three ride. hours. We were yeah, out. Yeah, that we were was out. a good ride, 100 plus miles. Yep. That bike was up to the challenge in every way. Yeah, the Monster's a great bike. It's not as good on the highway as yours, though, I will say. It's not as comfortable as yours, just overall. Listen to those downshifts. But pretty close, I'll say that. Yeah, but it this is. One, this one does, man. This is. For me, this is like a lazy boy. Hey, do you go, you don't go into first? I want you to go into first and then decel all the way down. You know, like to here, because okay. I want to see if that thing crackles at all, like this one does. Like, oh my gosh, it's so sick. Yeah, I'm stoked, man. I can't wait for all the bikes to have exhausts on them. Then you need to ride the SP with the exhaust on it, and then we'll get my bike in the exhaust, and then you can ride that. Dude, it sounds so good now. It makes me so happy. Hey, huge thank you to Dotto oh, for his hard work. Cannot say that enough. Yeah, that was that was not e an easy job, especially because we didn't even have any directions or anything really. So I saw he was wiping some of the uh, sausage finger juice off, <laughs> and I thought if anybody can leave their juice there, I'll let him. I know, right? Yeah, that was great work, Dado. Thank you so much. This thing is really incredible right now. It should now. feel like a brand new bike, honestly. It kind of feels really smoothly balanced. I mean, the last time we performance. the last time we went riding, you got a flat tire, and I realized you were on the oldest, shittiest tires ever. There was barely any air pressure to begin with, so now you got brand new tires, brand new exhaust, brand new and, air filter. And now I know when I see belts coming through the tires <laughs> to let you know. <laughs> yes, please do. So we went by Cumberland Valley High School. My dad said he used to play football there. He played uh, for Trinity. Um, but he played against Bishop McDevitt, and you said you used to play against Ricky Walters. We actually, you showed me, I've seen the films of that. Yep, I used to have that on VHS. Uh-huh, and remember you showed me uh, footage of him going in on his knees? <laughs> yes, they called that one back. Yeah, dude. We lost that game by, it was 17 to 23, I think. Yeah, my dad was, was a good a running good back. Game. That was a good game. Yeah, but Ricky was definitely on another level. Like, oh, that, God, yeah. That was insane. Like, we watched him probably... What? He burned like seven guys in like a 10 yeah. foot radius. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. I played yeah, that, running back I, as well. I, I wasn't watched on that, that over and over <laughs> on that VHS. Trying to figure out what the hell he did. How did he dodge all of these guys? Yeah, yeah. That, he was insane. He was pretty skillful. Yeah. Well, he's also a Hall of Fame running back, so. I don't know if he is. Oh, I'm sure he's in the Hall of Fame. I don't know. Okay. So we're at Appalachian Harley Davidson. I think we're actually going to walk inside and just take a look, see what they have here. Because I'm curious. All right, so just walked into Appalachian Harley-Davidson, checked out some of their electric motorcycles. I actually was just chatting with uh, Logan, the, the manager here, sales manager, and um, he said we can get on these in the future if I want to try them out. I think they're really cool bikes. I've always liked these bikes. I think the only thing that really hurt these bikes was the $30,000 price tag, um, but I've heard that they're a lot of fun and it's a lot of technology that Harley's never done before, and they're really cool bikes. What do you think, Pops? I wanted to feel that weight. They're only 500, it's about the same as yours. It's, yeah. Seems pretty levelly weighted. Uh-huh. And and that's that's pure electric torque right there too. So I've heard they're they're fast, you know, but like a lot of fun too. I like the black one, the black on black. Can't go wrong with that. That's really cool. Riding modes, the whole deal. So I'm actually really excited to try that out. I actually I was telling Logan, um, I almost bought my dad a Harley before I got him his Diablo. Like, Dad, would you have ridden something like this? I could see myself riding something right? like that. Yeah. It's not going to have the feeling that your bike does. Because that's the thing I told him. I said, my dad, 
Yeah, my dad loves people try to mess with him on his bike and then he just smokes everybody. Like almost everything on the road on the Diablo. At least zero to 100. Exactly, yeah. So you can't really do that with these bikes. I know the 114 motor is pretty fast. Um, again, for a Harley Davidson. But I do, like I've always, here, let me see that. Here, let me see what I look like on this. I, I, at some point, I will probably buy a Harley. And this is one of the ones I've always liked. And it actually feels a lot lighter than they used to as well. That's like fun. Christina a, would have like, no problem putting her feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing's cool, man. I actually really like this. This is badass. How do I look on it? I like it. Have you seen me rocking one of these? I think my friend Jay had something similar to that. Really? Yeah. Before he got rid of it really and got cool the one. Tesla. I like this. And then we got some of our, I think this is a 2018 model. I've, I've always liked the styling of Harley Davidson. Like, they really know what they are and they know how to go right after the audience that, that buy these, these motorcycles. The slash cut exhaust looks really cool. Actually, the chrome looks really nice as well. And then they've got some cool, like, look at that. Look at the paint on that. That's wild, dude. That's actually super cool. I see more Harley Davidsons around this area than probably any other motorcycle. And then I believe this is their FXDR, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is, FXDR. So this is like basically the V-Rod replacement, which I have ridden the V-Rod and it's a very fun bike. Reminds me a little bit of the Diablo that my dad has. Um, obviously doesn't handle quite as well, but definitely a lot of fun, especially like with straight line stuff like that. So super cool bikes. I, I need to come in here more often and just check stuff out. I'd love to take some of these bikes out for a ride too. I would totally rock one of these as like a second or third bike. Very, very nice, especially as I get older. But yeah, dad, would you rock a Harley Davidson? Yeah, I definitely as would. As a second bike, right? I definitely would. Yeah, you would need it as a, but you'd probably get a touring one because your bike can already do everything and more that these bikes can yeah. do. So you get like a bigger, like a street glide or something like that, you know? Yes. Yeah, all right, let's, uh, let's keep riding before it starts raining on us more. I love this bike, dude. Yeah? Yeah, Dado did a great job. Oh yeah. You did great. I knew you'd love it. I still haven't ridden, I've only ridden it like around the block. Hey. Here's the, are you ready for this? What? I was a little apprehensive when I knew the baffles had come out. Yeah, so I talked about that in the video. I did hear that. I don't know if I can agree with you, but it seems practical. I've, I've done enough exhaust now with baffles in and baffles out, and I've noticed that the baffles basically make the, the... They do probably bring the volume down a tiny bit, but they make the sound overall higher pitched, which to me is more annoying. The lower sound, even though it might be higher in volume, isn't as annoying. So yeah, that's why. Instead of having Axel Rose, you got Barry White. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which is no, not I nearly as annoying, you know? Yeah. But um, when we walked into the Harley dealership, Dad, the guy came over and he was like, Are you ready to trade in your bikes for some real bikes? <laughs> he was kidding, you know what I mean? But And then he goes and just starts asking questions about the Ducatis, you know? <laughs> He's like, what's that bike on the right-hand side? I was like, oh, it's my dad's bike. That's a Ducati Diablo. And he's like, man, that thing looks cool, you know? Uh -huh. So funny, yeah. But I, do, I would like to take some uh, say, take some bikes out on some first rides, some Harleys. <laughs> so if you guys would be interested in seeing that, drop a comment down in the comment section below. What's he's up? probably Googling right now on Ducati bike. Well, I handed him my card, so I'd imagine he'll check it out. He'll probably be watching the video. So Logan, thanks for uh, showing us around the showroom. Thank I look you, forward to, yeah, I look forward to doing a doing a ride with you on some Harleys in the future. I think that'll be fun. You son of a bitch! <laughs> I love this bike. Now, does that bike have a properly properly tuned ECU? Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah. So yours will yours will have that as soon as we get the new ECU back. That sounds really good. And then yeah. let it let it decel. Is it crackling? I Downshift. Can... And then just let it decel. I didn't hear crackling. I can't hear anything because this bike's so damn loud. Yeah, I'm so excited. A, I'm on my bike. Yes. B, I'm on a safe bike yes. again. And look, this this might sound silly, but I can't tell you. How many times you're on the highway and someone will yeah. start to come over? Yeah. Just to be able to pull in the clutch and... Yep. Yep. So
so true. It scares them and they go flying right back over. You basically use it like a horn, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah because it's yeah. a lot faster than trying to do. Yeah, no one's gonna and hear who's that. doing that? No Nobody. They're hearing this though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's exactly and, and not only might they hear it, they literally might feel it. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. You know, so I love that. Yep. I'm stoked, man. I'm excited. I wanna I definitely wanna try riding that. What we'll have to do, Dad, is once I get the Termi exhaust on my bike, we'll have to go out for a ride, and then I'll have you ride my bike, and I'll ride that one. All right, I'd yeah, love it. That'll be I fun. I would love it. And Jared, it's gonna be so difficult for the next three weeks for I, me not to, you, you know, really. You can get on it. I just said don't uh, take it to Redline. Uh, yeah, and I don't want to. I, I don't even want to push it too much, but it's, it's just the type of bike. Yeah, yeah. It's the Diablo. I know. Yeah. And then you put new tires and new yeah. muffler exhaust and it's like, oh boy. It eggs you on. Woo! Come on, Mark. Oh, wait until you see what I'm having done with the new ECU. Should I just tell you or do you want it to be a, a surprise? It's just something stupid, but... Tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. So, whenever you start up the bike, this one with the ECU flash, it says Racing Evo. So you know that the bike is flashed. When yours starts up, it's going to say Mark Campisi. <laughs> Oh shit, I like that! Yeah. Oh Jared! I was gonna touch. I was gonna leave it as a surprise, but I figured why not. What a fucking touch! How cool is that? Oh that's awesome! Yeah. Oh ding ding motherfuckers, <laughs> it will be on then! Oh yeah. Like I'll be going down front street looking for people. Uh -huh. like, oh, alright. I love it. Alright, so I told my dad to put it in sport mode. I like I think he's babying it more than he needs to. And I understand he wants to make sure that everything's safe and whatnot. What um, but I want you to feel it. Oh, shit! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> How's that feel? Uh, Dude, you rocketed off. <laughs> much more responsive. Yeah, I, I noticed it too, just being in first gear. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. So Looking. maybe hey maybe we'll have to do another uh, race uh, against my Diablo. Absolutely, because that looks a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. And Jared, I did not get on it on it, but you know I turned it, but I didn't get on it on it. Yeah, oh, that's scary. My. I knew it was going to be a lot faster. Like I said, wow. a lot of people have Termi exhaust. I don't know anyone that has the full race Termi exhaust. Oh, snap. Yeah, those pipes are massive. It's going to get so much more airflow. Yeah, I felt more, more power. It's just immediate. Out of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, man, I can't wait for that flash. I think it's going to be a monster. Okay. I wish we would have done a dyno before and after to see what kind of power numbers it makes. Maybe once we get the ECU, we'll throw that on the dyno. Uh, we'll bring you, well, you can come along when we do the V4 dyno after we put the slip on and it would be interesting to see what that puts down because I know what the X Diablo do, do, uh, did I think it was 150 and we could gone. look up what the stock um, Diablo yes. 2015 did yes we can look it up yeah. yeah oh fuck yeah I'd love this to go on dude oh man that bike looks so good oh wow Jarrett see I forgot that I was, in, I was in touring mode the whole time yeah yeah, see, you're getting oh, a little shit. crackles. Yeah, see, yeah. If, you would, if you would go down in the first earlier on, like in the, like 20, 20 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour, I and just get more D cell, that? yes, absolutely. And then you just said D cell? So just, don't let the engine braking do it all? No, just, let the engine braking do it all. Okay. And just slow down. That was a cop. <laughs> so did I at first. Uh huh. I love these roads. We're gonna go left here. Listen to that. Woo! God, I love this monster. It's so good. Oh, it's good to see you back on that bike. Yeah, I think so. It was too. only a week, but it felt like a lot longer than that. It did for me. Yeah, and honestly, that back tire looks really good now that it's clean. Made it back home safe and sound. What are your final thoughts, Pops? What do you think? Wow. 
I was really glad toward the end there you had me put it in sport and yeah. the mode I'm most familiar with. Yeah, that's where I saw the biggest difference right away too. Because he was saying the throttle response didn't feel as instant and I was like it did to me and I realized I was in sport mode. Yeah. As soon as you said that, wow. Like I couldn't get over Dude, it. Dude, so even dad. Huge. Oh, yeah. So wait, dad, start this up in sport mode. Start this up in sport mode. Because when I revved it, it was like instant. I was like, what in the actual hell? So start that up now and give it some revs in sport mode. Yeah, I'm in sport mode. Yeah. God, I love the sound of that. Dude. So do I. And it's just going to sound better and better as that packing in there breaks up. Yeah, it'll sound better and better. So wait, now give it a couple reps. See? See the difference? How ridiculous is that? That's beautiful. Hold on, let me get That's I barely twisted the dang throttle. Okay, here, start up the monster. Let's hear him side by side. That's borderline beast. Let's see here. This one is it's totally different, the tone of it. So yours is way more bassy, you know? And that's what Termi's known for. So give that one a couple reps. Oh, that punches you. Pretty similar though. Woo All right, so I think that's gonna do it for this video. Um, really, really happy to be able to do stuff like this for my pops. Obviously, he's done a lot for me. So to be able to get him this bike and now deck it out so that he can actually feel the differences on it, uh, I'm really excited. And we'll go for a much longer ride when it doesn't look like it's gonna rain on us. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for videos with him riding with me on my Diablo once I get my exhaust on. He's gonna be riding the SP, the Panigale, once it gets the Termi exhaust on I it. I don't think you want to ride right now against your Diablo. I know. Until I, Luckily, mine's uh -huh, in pieces. Uh -huh. Yeah. I need an exhaust uh -huh. before I go that, back. And when you get the pretty dramatic. Seated, you said 15 back. pounds overall between the yeah, back the two, and the that, two mods yeah. plus 10 to, 10 to 12 horse, maybe 15 horsepower. It felt like it. Ding ding, right? Yeah, yeah. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.